So Apple has recently released iOS 16.0.3 a few weeks after the release of iOS 16. This new software fixes minor bugs that are responsible for major inconvenience on iPhone 14 Pro models. But other than that, the update also provides fixes that are not specific to iPhone 14 models only, like for example, the famous mail hack issue. So in this video, we'll talk about iOS 16.0.3 and how would you install it? And also we'll talk about iOS 16.1's expected launch date. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So on any iPhone that is capable of running iOS 16, if you would go into settings, then go into general and tap on software updates and wait for your iPhone to detect the software update, you will be notified just above the download and install button about all the change log that the software will bring. The first issue that this update fixes is incoming calls and app notifications may be delayed or not delivered on iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Max. And I was getting a lot of questions regarding this one and even though I didn't face it personally but I believe this would be very annoying for users who were facing this issue. But rest assured Apple has provided us the best solution for this. So next major bug that was fixed in this update and I believe that was creating a lot of issues for multiple users is low microphone volume on phone calls when connected to CarPlay. And that's actually really funny because no matter how much louder you'd speak up, the second person on the call, the other person on call won't hear anything. So instead of saying this update fixes low microphone volume, I would say this update fixed no microphone volume, if you know what I mean. Yet another very strange thing that I personally noticed once or twice is delay in the camera app. So if you would try to open the camera application, so uh, the application would take about two to three seconds just to open up. And even inside the camera application, if you would once open it up and if you would go from photo mode to video mode, the application would take about two to three seconds. And that seemed kind of odd for iPhone 14 Pro models. Now, the main reason why Apple rolled out this update is due to this next issue. VPN trackers has uncovered a bug that lets anyone take down on your email account by sending a message from an improperly formatted account. But rest assured, Apple has provided us the best solution for this. So in order to update your iPhone, all you have to do is just go into software updates inside general. And once your iPhone detects an update, just tap on download and install and let your iPhone sit for a while and do its thing. Two biggest things that I'm personally looking for in this update is whether or not iOS 16.0.3 has fixed the famous battery drain issue on iOS 16 and whether or not it fixes the screen flickering issue on iPhone 13 models. So as of now, I'm surely able to tell that the screen flickering issue on iPhone 13 models is still there, but the battery life, I'll have to test it out. And talking about iOS 16.1, I was genuinely expecting Apple to drop it in this week, but but instead of 16.1, they drop 16.0.3. And yeah, the cycle continues and hopefully Apple will launch it in this month, maybe in the last week or so. So make sure you stay tuned for iOS 16.1 because we will definitely be covering it on our channel. So that is it for this one. Do let me know what are your thoughts about iOS 16.0.3. If you like what you watched, then make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button and make sure to download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store. This is me here signing off and I'll see you in the next one.